Hello and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2, and because we're getting so close to Christmas, yes, that Christmas vacation where I can actually have time to make videos is coming up, we're going to be doing a special today, uh, thanks to Karito Gorski, or if I completely butchered the pronunciation of that name, I apologize, um, we are going to be making a snowman with planets. <clears throat> So, looks like we're going to have to get very technical here. Um, I'm going to use Earth as the base for this. And we're going to do this in an interesting way. So, to make our first snowball, we're going to get Earth. We're going to turn it completely into water. And then we're going to freeze it. So let's put it at a nice and toasty negative 100 degrees and here is the base for our snowman now all we have to do is copy and paste it which I'm not sure if that's a thing yet however we can save it and let's rename this to snowball since that's pretty much what it is now it's a little snowball with an atmosphere and then we're going to save this BAM and let's make our snowman so we just have to look for our snowball QRS should be somewhere around here there's snowball and we're going to add two and they're going to be still. So we're going to put one here. And we're going to put one here. There we go. And now let's size these properly. Because we need the top one to be smaller. And the one below that to also be smaller. So... How do we make this look like a proper snowman? There we go, that looks like a good size for that one. And then this snowball just needs to be shrunk a little bit more. And I think that looks good. Okay, so the lighting is going to make this look kind of odd. But we're going to try our best. Um, you know what, what we can do is we can edit this. And move these snowballs so that they are facing a way that we can see. Okay, so the snowman is tilting a little bit. It looks kind of cute having it kind of lopsided a little bit. And then we're going to add the face. This is going to be slightly challenging to do. We need a small black planet uh, or an asteroid. We could use... This may be a little bit small. Yeah, way too small. Sedna. Sedna looks like a good size, except it's not really the color we want. Palace is going to work perfect for this. Uh, sadly, there isn't really a good system in Universe Sandbox 2 for working with object manipulation. So I'm going to have to put each of the little rocks down and move them up using this slightly archaic system. But that's okay. We need the video over 10 minutes anyways, don't we? To get that good ad revenue. I have to copy PewDiePie. <laughs> the slightly over 10 minute videos. Okay. This is an extremely exciting process. Watch as the mouth is slowly grown. Now I can promise you this is not what this game is made for, but it's going to look cool after it's done, so worth. And do 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 do. There we go. We have to make this go into Earth a little bit more. This one too. It needs to like be stuck into it so that it doesn't fall out. 
needs to follow physics because this isn't completely ridiculously impossible already. Uh, we need to we need to keep it real here, you know, making a snowman out of planets. I wonder if this is what a god would do in their free time when they're bored. It's like, yeah, you know those human things? Let's make a giant snow version out of uh, planets. <coughs> and then, uh, yeah, that seems like a good way to spend the time. I mean, you're omnipotent anyways. I guess you can kind of just do whatever you want. <clears throat> Nothing is a waste of time when you have all the time in the universe. Can't be the most hated man on the internet if there is no internet. <laughs> uh, if you caught that joke, that's a net neutrality joke. <laughs> that's all over the place. Because... Net neutrality is dead. Which I won't comment on, because I'm sure millions and millions and millions of other people you watch on YouTube uh, have already done so. So there's no real need for me to do it. If you have no clue what happened, just Google it and you will be completely spammed. There we go, we have finished the smile. Now we're going to need the eyes, which we're going to use series for something slightly larger. I don't know what we're going to do for the nose. I wish we had like a traffic cone or something. Um, but there's no carrot, so we're going to have to get kind of creative here. So here's one eye. There we go. See, this <laughs> this is actually looking pretty good. Out of all the ridiculous ideas, I actually really like this one because it looks nice. You know, a lot of the time these things won't turn out very well. It'll we'll hit some logistical problem, uh, something that the game won't actually do and I have to freak out. But this time, no. It is certainly possible to do this. Let's see, human-sized objects. There are pumpkins, which I guess if we rotated properly, we could get to do a nose-like thing, but that would take a lot of effort. Yeah, we'll give him a pumpkin nose. It'll look slightly odd, but you know... That might be kind of cool, so we'll make it 0 0.1 moot. Okay, that's a little bit big for a nose. So, we're just going to shrink it a bit. This is like the size of my nose. Jeez. Okay, let's shrink it down a little bit. There we go. That's good. All we got to do is raise it. It's not exactly a carrot, but it's something. Wow. This is a very, very nice nose for the snowman. He's very happy with it. Look at that! It's a happy little snowman. Yeah, I think we did pretty well. Look at that! You know what? For Universe Sandbox 2, I think this is a pretty good job. Um. We're gonna do a little bit more though because he needs arms. Do we have anything that we could use for arms? We have the monoliths, which maybe would make a good arm. If I can find it. Where did I put it? Oh shoot, we've lost it. Okay, let's place another one for the oh, there it is. Okay, so now where where is it? Oh, it's so hard to see. Okay, now we just have to make it really big. The problem is it's like, kind of see-through, but we'll see how it looks in a second. Let's just make it... And then what we have to do is we have to turn it. To be in a direction that looks thin to us. There we go. And then we just do this, 
right here. And look at that. That is a beautiful hand. That is the very best hand. We have to do it again, though. Another monolith the size of the moon. <laughs> this is completely ridiculous. Ah, yes, I am very cultured in art. Look at my beautiful masterpiece. It was inspired by Picasso. Thanks, Spanish class, coming in clutch with the uh, Picasso learning. Because, you know, I don't get that. Like, in a foreign language class, you'd expect to, like, learn words that you would actually use if you're, like, at a country that spoke that language. Things like, oh, how to order at a restaurant, stuff, which we've done. But then we learn how to, like, talk about art and... I think there's a very specific and low amount of times you would actually use that. So I just find it funny that we learn it. But there we go. Look at his little stump arms, his great pumpkin nose, and that smile. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn the time really low and let <laughs> the simulation play. And the snowman is going to murder himself. Yep. Oh no! It's so brutal. Watch as he slowly collapses in on himself. It's horrifying. Oh, look at his smile. His enthusiasm is explosive. <laughs> he looks to have a little bit of a rash. Uh, or a few. Oh no, he's melting. Oh, his face. Oh no. Oh, it's so horrible. Oh, He's kind of chub now. He is... Oh, boy. Yeah, he's no longer a snowman. Now he's like a dirty snowman when, like, the plow goes by and the nasty snow gets on it. And, like, now he's kind of on fire and just a ball of lava. Ooh, how fun. And this is the beautiful snowman. Well, guys, I know that was kind of a strange one, uh, but thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this episode of Universe Sandbox 2, and I will see you all next time. Bye!